The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke glory to you O Lord Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him she had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak Martha burdened with much serving came to him and said Lord do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving tell her to help me the Lord said to her in reply Martha Martha you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, good morning. In the Gospel, Jesus is in the house of his close friends. The siblings, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Martha was busy on preparing the food for Jesus. He was busy serving the food for Jesus. And what Martha did represents work. And that is why Martha is the patron saint of workers. On the other hand, Mary, not Mother Mary, she just sat beside the feet of the Lord listening to his words and what Mary did represents prayer now what do you notice on Martha's disposition she was complaining take note that's very important because we are like Martha many times eh? in other words there was chaos inside of her how about mary there was peace that's why i chose this stall there was peace in her heart this is a reminder for everyone that peace is one of the wonderful fruits of prayer do not forget that Peace is a fruit of prayer. That is why I do not believe in the saying, Peace is the absence of war. No, do not believe in that. That's not true. That's not peace. Na peace is the absence of war. No. Real peace is how you be courageous and strong. How you endure in the midst of war. That's peace. How Jesus endured the cross. That's war. Chaos. But Jesus managed to have that peace in his heart. That is peace. So at this point, let me ask everyone, do you want peace even in the midst of chaos? Do you want that kind of peace? So allow me to share a tip but my tip is very realistic. I know you won't like this. I'm, I'm sorry. But this is the most realistic and the most honest tip on how to attain peace in the midst of war. Okay, let's begin now. Why is it? Have you, haven't you noticed? Why is it that many of us no matter how many times we spent for prayer still do not experience peace have you have you tried that have you experienced that 
No matter how many times you spent for prayer, you still feel stressed in your heart. You still do not experience peace. There's still chaos in your heart. Because the answer is probably you ask, we ask for the wrong intention. So at this point, let me give you the tip. And again, let me warn you that I have to be honest and realistic. From now on, stop asking from the Lord. Lord, do not give me problems. Lord, do not give me sickness. Because it will just give you more stress. I swear. That is what gives us stress. Eh? We pray for the wrong intention. Because whether you like it or not, problems will always be there. Eh? Sickness will always be there no matter how rich we are, no matter how intelligent we are, no matter how powerful we are, problems are there. Sickness will always be there. So let us stop asking the Lord, Lord, do not give me problems anymore, ha? Huh? Lord, do not give me sickness anymore, ha? Huh? No, it will just give you more stress, I swear. Well, God is powerful, we know that. He can remove all our problems and sickness. But He wants us to transcend, eh? He wants us to go beyond, eh? Like for example, this happened. Someone told me, she was a senior citizen. <laughs> she knelt on the kneeler for 30 to 1 hour. And her content in prayer was, Lord, do not give me sickness anymore, ha? Huh? Oh, take note, take note. Lord, do not give me sickness anymore. Lord, do not give me sickness anymore. I trust in you. Amen. But when she stood up, her ar arthritis attacked. Ar aray, aray, aray. And so, right on the spot, she blamed God. Lord, I just asked you to not give me sickness anymore. Why do I still have arthritis? Na stress. Nakuha natin. Na stress. Stop asking those. Be, be, be strong. Di tayo mahinang nila lang eh. We are Christians eh. Do not ask na Lord. Do not give me problems. Lord, do not give me sickness. What is the, what is the proper content? What is the, the correct content when we pray? This is the most transcendental content. And I swear, this is very effective. When you pray, Lord, I will not ask you to remove my problems. What I will ask you, Lord, give me the strength, the courage, and the perseverance to carry my cross and face my problems. Amen. And there will be peace in your heart, I swear. Stop asking the Lord, Lord, do not give me sickness anymore. Huh? No, it will just give you more stress. You rather say, Lord, I will not ask you, Lord, to remove my sickness. And dito na to eh. It's up to you, Lord. You are powerful. It's up to you. But what I will ask you, Lord, to give me peace in my heart, give me courage, strength, and perseverance to carry this cross, this sickness. Amen. And I swear, based on my interviews from people who apply this technique, there was peace. Okay? Again, let me remind everyone that we are followers of this. Hindi tayo mga mahinang nila lang. So when we pray, do not say, Lord, do not give me problems and sickness. No. Just like you, Lord, you face the cross, I will face my cross. But as I face my cross, give me the grace of perseverance, courage, and strength that I may be strong in facing all these trials in life. Then I swear, there will be peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.